Hi, this is Mike and Jepson at MikeandJepson.com and I'm going to do a quick video on how to edit your video in iMovie. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do here, as you can see, this is my old, like, whatever I had last time. So I'm going to do project, new project, and we're going to drag my movie in here. So the first thing... The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file, go to import, and then import movies. Then mine had to be on a desktop, so we just did it right now. I just did a video, and I named it My iPhone App. I'm just going to drag it in. And here's option full original size or optimized video. to optimize video import and then usually it takes a while for it to import depends how long your video is obviously and then done so now it imported so now I can scroll down here at the bottom here's my video so I select the whole thing come on you can do it wow my mouse is acting up today let's try again so you can test it here let's see Hi guys, this is Mike and Jepson. So if you want like to, sh um, at the end, I want, then I'll cut it right here. Let me see, hold on. But I just wanted to show you my little app. So there you go. So I hope you have a wonderful day. There, I want to cut it right there before I close it down so I can actually. Bye. Bye bye. And then we'll clip it. And I cut her off the video Just right show there. Show my little app. So there you go. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Yeah, that's fine. Bye bye. Uh, so there you go. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. All right. So I'm going to take this, and I want to select the whole thing. And why wouldn't let me select the whole thing? We have too much stuff here. <laughs> so let's try again. There we go. Let's select the whole thing. And we'll select the whole thing. Whoops. Done. And I take it and I drag it up here. So now the whole video. So maybe in the beginning I want to add, I used to usually, this first frame I'll take, I want to add my website. So go down here to text. And lately I've been using this one. We can scroll over the mouse and you can see how each different text appear. So I'm just going to take this one, I drag it up to the window, and then I text in here my website, and it's done. And even in the window, if you wanted to test it out, you can also like this. Hi guys, Play this is Mike Jepson. Today I want to go over quickly. <coughs> there you go. That's good. So in the end, I want to add an extra slide here at the end. Um, maybe say thank you for visiting or something like that. So, and these are like the transition, music, pictures. So we're just going to add, we want this thank you for visiting. Let's take that one. And we want to add it here. So since that is no, I don't add it onto um, a slide or video, they have these backgrounds I can choose from. So I can just go over them really quick and see what background I want. So maybe I want, oh, not a white background. Last time I used this one, it's pretty good. I haven't tried an on water background yet, so maybe I'll just choose that one. I'll choose that one, and then I'll put my message in here. All right. Done. Right, let's do it again. Thanks. For okay, thanks for watching.
So obviously this is too big. So that may so that the background. So maybe I want to do something else. Um, you can also do this one. Let me see. If you want a slide effects, maybe I want this one. Let's do that one. Put over here, and I can write the title. This visit me at. And I don't like that. So anyway, you can just pick whatever. You can also change the font. Um, but I think I like, I could do like for, um, I think I just like this one better. And drag it up, drag it. And I still put, thanks for, thanks for visiting. And as that font, you can also change the font, obviously. But that's it. Thanks for visiting mikeandjepson.com. And that's it. And we'll write done. And then, if you want, we can add music. So quickly, I'm going to hit the note. And I have iLive sound effects. And then you can text out um, the songs. I'll do just like this. Click on one. There's a long. I don't like. I I don't like the longer version. Usually that's three versions or two versions. So I'm just gonna pick this one quickly, and I drag it up here, in the beginning. I drag it up, and what I want to do. And the first thing I want to do is the audio. I want to change the audio because obviously I don't want the music to be louder than what I'm talking so people can't hear me. So right here to click audio, you see the volume and I'm going to put the volume all for the music background all the way down to uh, 10 and I'm going to click done. So I could just have audio in the beginning. Let's see here. I'm starting the beginning. Hi guys, this is Mike and Jepson. Today I want to go over quickly uh, my new iPhone app. I did it just to test it out, just to see um, how it would be to have an app. Alright, so if I'm like in a hurry, like I'm right now, because I'm going to make the video short, um, <laughs> you can add the music to the whole thing. I can just add music at the end. So I'm just going to add the music to the end because I'm not doing this for school. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it for, how long is this? It's 20 seconds. So we're going to change the clip adjustment to 20 seconds. Uh... Remember there's an S at the back. There we go. Twenty seconds. We're done. Oops. You can just drag it out. You can just drag it out again. I can still drag it because I know it's the byte is twenty seconds. So let's see here. See, if you don't change, it's very important that you change the audio, because if you don't change the audio, you can't hear what I'm saying, or what you're saying. So again, volume down to 10%. It also depends on how loud you are in your video. Yeah. So make sure you test it, and you can also ask people what they think. Is it easy to use? That's the main part. I still think the music a little bit too loud, because I'm not talking loud. So... Change it down to seven. You do it one, it's good to do it in the other two. Audio adjustment. This is low. Usually, um, if I'm doing now, I have a headset on right now. But obviously in the video, I don't have a headset on. So the volume's not going to be as loud. But if I have the headset on, I usually set it to the audio, um, the music background to 15%. And there you go. So let's just check it out. So there you go. 
So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Perfect. All right, so Hi now. Guys, this is Mike and Jen. So anyway, so you can test it. So right there, it's done. That's how it. And then what I'll do up to here, I want to share it. So right now, uh, I can export the video using QuickTime, and that way I can upload it to YouTube, or I can directly upload it to, I mean, iTunes. I got, excuse me, I can directly upload it to YouTube right here. But for this one, I'm just gonna do QuickTime, so I can name it the way I want to name it. So I want to name it my iPhone app, my iPhone app. And I'm gonna save it to the desktop. And here's the options. This is very important. Sometimes to cut the video short, so you want the options, full options, cancel, cancel. Um, just in case. So if you, that's if you want to use it in QuickTime video, which is the one right down here. See the QuickTime. Now let's say I want to do YouTube. So YouTube. So here we go. And then um, you write. It's what category? You got to figure out what kind of category it is. Right now I'm just doing really quick category. I'm just gonna do education because I'm teaching and then just fill out your information here and here and then you select what you want and down here if you want to make the video personal but if you want people to see it you want to unclick that and then you just write your stuff here and that's it all right hope you enjoyed it now if you're done filling out your information you just click um next and it'll take four to five to ten depends how long your video is to upload to youtube and there you go and that's it and that's how i edit my videos in imovie i hope this was helpful again visit mikeandjepson.com for more information and tips all right talk to you guys later